This is the sweat tour? What the f is that? Oh, oh, okay. All right, um, bump <laughs> <Bump> nut, um, <laughs> grinder, what the f <laughs> Do you know these gays? Do you know these gays? Gay. Girl, we about to sweat. We are about to sweat on the sweat tour. Charlie XCX, Brad with Bump and Now. We're about to listen to all the remixes. I've heard their original album. If you haven't seen a reaction, I'll post it up here. But we're gonna do the Brat remixes today. If you want me to say the official title, the official title, babes, it is Brat. And it's completely different, but it's also still Brat. And we're gonna listen to that today. I got the lime green bikini on. Because you know what, babe? You know what? Let me just say something real quick. Let me just get real with y'all. One second. It is Brat Summer 365 on this island that I'm living on okay it doesn't it doesn't get cold so y'all were all like it's brat fall no bitch it's brat summer where I live it doesn't end because it never gets cold so it's always brat summer <laughs> nobody asked I'm gonna shut up we're gonna get into the reaction bitch yes I'm standing today because I don't feel like sitting like I have so much energy and I need to stand otherwise I might shit my pants. Love this album so much. Like this era of Charlie XCX, I never knew like I was gonna fall so in love with Charlie XCX, but here I am like so f like, I'm not even sad, bitch. I'm literally giving her a standing ovation, bitch. Like she deserves that, okay? I have heard a few of the remixes. I've heard Guess. If you wanna see that reaction, dude, like I literally lost my shit. Like I was wet for Billie Eilish in that music video. I it, Charlie likes boys, but she knows I'd hit it. Away. And then I've also heard Girl So Confusing featuring Lord. Um, one of my favorite songs that you have is Royals. Um, where did you get the inspiration for that? And if you like Lord, I just reacted to her melodrama album and it's the first time I ever heard any songs off that album and I actually lost my mind like Homie Dynamite. It's crack cocaine that song. I've actually never heard Spring Breakers. I've never heard that song before in general like without the remix or the original. So I'm just gonna listen to the version with Kesha. I'm super excited. That's probably the one I'm the most excited for, especially since like, especially since like I don't know the song either. And then I don't know a lot of these artists. Obviously I'm excited for Mr. Troy, we love him. I'm excited for Bon Iver. Like the only song I know is that song with Taylor Swift, Exile. So that's pretty interesting. So the 1975 and then Taylor Swift and then how Charlie XCX opened for Taylor Swift on the Reputation Tour. Yes, I have a photo I'll insert it here because I went to that. Bump in that Charlie bump now what the f is that about to be that track what is that track about to be like that all right we're gonna get into it 360 featuring Robin and Young Lean I don't know who the f these people are but I'm about to be bumping that I guess gaze let's get ready strap up um sorry that was a little lesbian I think that was the wrong demographic do lesbians like Brad because I love Brad or is it just gay boys let me know down below 360 what do you see when you're in the mirror she's looking at me i'm everywhere i'm so julia i'm still convinced that she's talking about julia roberts Wait, what did she say, bitch? What did she say? Hold up. Now my lyrics on your boobie. Okay, that was so different. That was like, honestly, oh, girl, I'm sweating already. Honestly, that song was like so different. <laughs> like, are all the remixes gonna be like really different like that? Because that's just another reason to be bumping that. Like, I love that it's actually different. Like, we didn't just throw a feature on there. Like, they're actually remixed. Like, it's different 
but the same but different. My brain can't compute, bitch. We're getting into club classics featuring BB Tricks. A little trickster on the beat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who BB Tricks is. Should I know who BB Tricks is? Let's go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the EDM girl in me is loving these tracks. Okay. I want to hear those classics. Let's go. I want to hear back that ass up when I'm going to the club. Wait, I have to say something. I don't support the party girl drug lifestyle and all that culture and shit, but I have to say something. People were getting mad at Charlie XCX for having key merch. What did y'all think these songs were about? Like, what did y'all think these songs were about? She literally says, 365, I'm a party girl bumping that. What did you think she was bumping the speakers, bitch? Is this in Spanish? I'm a princess, What did she say? Dude, what did she say? Sorry, I don't speak Spanish, so I'm about to butcher this, but... Sigo, sin, sigo siendo una princesa. <laughs> Does that mean like I'm a princess or some shit? Is she saying twerk on the D? I thought she was saying twerk on the D. I was like, what the f? But she's saying, se mueve como jelly. <laughs> Girl, I hope I'm not saying something dirty in a language I don't know. I'm like getting really hungry, so I'm getting some fucking potato chips. Um, because I'm fucking hungry. I like it's literally almost one o'clock and I haven't eaten like lunch yet. So we're gonna eat a couple chips while we vibe to these songs because a bitch needs to eat because she's starting to get hangry and I don't want to get too bratty on this goddamn video. We're gonna go. Sympathy is a knife, Ariana Grande. This is the one that I'm literally the most excited to hear. I have heard like little snippets of this song. So I'm really excited to hear like the full version. Turn it up, bitch. Step it on your throat. Oh, it's singing. I love how the remixes are so different than the original. It's a knife when they say that you've been doing things that you don't. Oh, tea, bitch, tea. It's a knife when you do things that you don't. And bitch, I'm trying something new. Like, I don't usually do this, but you know what? It's a knife, bitch. It's literally a knife. Your sympathy is a knife. I don't need it. Dude, these are good as Ari, have you gotten a BBL? <laughs> Get the fuck. Period. I don't need any explanation for this. I literally was so obsessed with Ari throughout college, high school. Like, I just love Ariana Grande, bitch. Like, her voice is incredible and she gets so much hate compared to other, like, women celebrities. Why are we always trying to tear women out? Not the one chip. because I just love Ariana Grande so much and such a perfect person as well to put on that remix. Like it definitely was artistically like the perfect choice for the remix. We're gonna get into, I might say something stupid featuring the 1975. 
and John Hopkins. Like, John Hopkins Hospital. Hello? Girl, I say stupid shit all the time. The way she put the 1975 on this, about to go, about to go crazy. Black dog type shit. Oh shit, not Natty Healy on the track opening. I might say something stupid. <laughs> you might, bitch. You literally might. Clip it. Roll the clip. Chubby Chinese <laughs> lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm rapping the music. Dude, this is depressing as f. might say something stupid but dude, those potato chips were so good bitch they were so good <laughs> oh bitch bitch we're getting into troy <sighs> i love troy i literally have my desktop computer like my laptop screensaver as troy savan because i accidentally somehow took a screenshot of troy savan one time when i was filming um his latest album album reaction and it just made it my screensaver for some reason and I've never changed it because that's the gayest shit ever so I've literally just kept it. I'll literally show you a picture here. Okay. I scared myself. Oh, I like this ring. I might clip that out. That was really slutty. <laughs> what? Hold up, hold up. Talk to me in French, French, French. Talk, talk, talk to me in Spanish, Spanish. Je perdu mon téléphone, mais tu sais quoi? Ça valait le pire parce que c'était un soir de fou, fou, fou? Dude, what? <laughs> Did I just speak French? Baguette. Baguette. Von Dutch. I've actually never heard this one. I know this remix has been out for a while. I feel like I can't see y'all. Hold up. I know this remix has been out for a while. The the Von Dutch one with Addison Ray. Girl, I can't I can't do this. Let me take this off. I've never actually heard the Addison Ray Von Dutch remix for some reason. I don't know why, because when you cut in my car, I'm your baby. But I've never listened to it yet, so this is gonna be fun. I, I love little Addison. She's such a cutie, and I'm happy she's, like, finding, like, her sound, and she's, like, you know, evolving. It's always nice to see, like, celebrities evolve, especially someone like Addison Ray who started as a TikTok dancer. Like, it's cool to see her evolve and just come into her own. She's also Louisiana girl, bitch. We love our Louisiana girls. Stand the f*** up, as we should. <laughs> I do like Addison Rae, but I definitely prefer like the original because that beat, oh that beat on the original Von Dutch is disgusting. The only ones that I prefer the remixes so far is maybe Sympathy is a Knife. They're both so good so it's hard to pick, but I really like that one. Then in Talk 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 with Troy is definitely another remix. I like the remix better than the original. I can't imagine how hard that goes on the sweat tour. If you got tickets to the sweat tour, you slut. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to come across so bitchy like that. Oh my god. Let me rewind, rewind. Let's rewind. Head rush. Dude, my head is fucked up. <laughs> Can I get a picture? 
Dude, the, the fans screaming out Chaperone literally. You shut the f up! Just kidding, I hate you. Just kidding, I hate you. <laughs> kidding i hate you oh girl i'm in a squat position right now this is getting serious this reaction here i have to go use that stethoscope back there and my heartbeat real quick we're getting into everything is romantic featuring caroline polchek i've never heard of this artist well i've never heard of this artist's work before but i know people have requested me to like react to caroline before on the channel and i've seen like some of my favorite reactors have listened to their have listened to her music as well. So this will be a really interesting listen. Everything really is romantic if you think about it. Like there's really a market for everything, um, for all different types of people if you really think about it. Like everything can be romantic. Romanticize everything. Or don't, like I don't really care. Like what you do, like, um, I'm just like vibing in this video. Fall in love. Fall in love, girl, I already did. Fall in love again. again? She's falling in love a lot. Out this Caroline girly. We're getting into Rewind featuring Blade or Blady. I don't know. Let's f find out. This is whenever I first reacted to Brat, this was my favorite song off of the album because it just gave that nostalgic, like, rewinding it back feel. So I wonder, like, what the remix is gonna sound like. Okay, so we're starting with like the end of the song. For the beginning of the remix. I'm six feet under trying to catch myself. What the f did he say? Um, that's depressing. Six feet down beneath myself. Oh my god, sir, stand up. Merrily's me unimpressed. <gasps> Where am I right now? It is like 2 a.m. and I had like. Eight vodka sprites. What is this beat? Rewind was okay. I definitely, I definitely very much so prefer like the original. Um, I also feel like I need to sit because I feel like I'm getting winded. Like I'm literally out of breath. Like I just started working out again, like getting on like a healthy hot girl workout routine. And I literally feel winded. Like I feel unwell. Like I really feel unwell. We're going to get into So I. I don't even remember this song. Oh, so I cry, so I cry. Girl, it's because I stopped listening to this one because I was already depressed, so espresso, and I didn't need another 13th reason. Featuring AJ Cook. I think he's produced most of the album, along with, like, Charlie. Put my shades on so y'all can't see me cry to this one. Okay, pretty violin. Okay. The lasers. In Texas and matching latex, that's as cool as I'm ever gonna feel. Shit. I know like the original song is about Sophie, so is this like about um 
like some of the stuff that they did together like and she's just kind of like saying all the things this is like the part two like the upbeat part of the song like we had the we had the sad one but now we're getting like the upbeat version <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to be like, <laughs> I feel like this is just so stupid, <laughs> but I'm literally thinking about, you know, those things that you like thought, like you swat around, like when there's a bug and it like zaps them. That's what the production noise sounds like in the background. And I'm just like, <sighs> dude, all my brain cells are so fried. Like, <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. Like, do you hear it? I can't hear it now. Lasers. That was a lot. That song, that was a lot. I'm sitting and I'm actually sweating because <laughs> I'm literally sitting down and I'm sweating because that was a lot. That was a lot, that track. We're getting into Girl, So Confusing, Lord. This is definitely like, so, the song is just so good. This is like literally what made me get into Lord, the song, because I just really liked how she sounded on it and I liked like how it was like nostalgic like they used to be like friends and like people say we're like they say we got the same hair like I like all that energy that Lord was bringing on the track and Charlie and I'm just it's just so like iconic that she got Lord to do the song because I feel like the song is low-key like hurt feelings it's like about hurt feelings kind of you know it's so confusing like are we friends like are we not but then we got them to do a song together and lord literally said but i'd ride for you charlie let's play it i gotta stand up for this one because this one's just so good y'all so i just i just ran over a potato chip that fell on the ground people say we're alike they say we've got the same head we talk about making music but i don't know if it's honest Charlie. It's so confusing sometimes to be a girl. Bro, it really is. It really is. You feel being a girl. I don't know. I'm just a moody bitch. I'm just a moody bitch. Is it just me or are you two? I don't know the apple dance. So I'm a little embarrassed that I don't know it. Um, but I can make up a dance if you'd like. so short b2b featuring tanache is somebody gonna match my freak is somebody gonna match my freak <laughs> i'm just so embarrassed i'm literally so embarrassed like why am i posting this on the internet i don't even care like i know y'all bitches be doing this shit in your bedroom and y'all are liars y'all are trying to play it cool y'all be doing this in y'all bedroom i don't need you to like you don't all right b2b featuring tanache match my freak girl like i'm excited for this one bitch in four days okay like on the tour life she goes like back to back to back i love that we'll run it back on the back Like she's going back to back, booty up in the air, bouncing. Like that one, that one was cute. Just back to back on the tour life, you know how it is. 
that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. They're just back-to-back, city-to-city, touring, and they got, baby got back. That was the energy of the song. Truly, I liked it. I liked it. Tanache has got such a good voice, too. We're getting into Mean Girls next, featuring Julian Casablancas. I don't know who this is. I'm gonna sit for this one because, y'all, my legs are hurting. Okay. <laughs> the way she said, F it in a fun way we get, kept it vague so you could guess, so you could guess who the Mean Girls are, girl. People be speculating. People have said said certain people the song is about. This one's like they like slow down the tempo on it a lot. Dude, mean girls. Where's my awkward weird girlies? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where's my weird awkward gaze? Oh, kind of like his voice though. I took the abuse. What the? The production pauses. Oh, I like it. Mean girls. <laughs> Dude, this song could have, like, if this song, the remix, would have came out earlier, this could have totally been in, like, <laughs> the Mean Girls musical. <laughs> Renee Rapp could have been like, This one's for all my mean girls. Like, she would have ate this shit out, bitch. Like, Renee Rapp would have ate this shit up in the Mean Girls musical like she really would have served. My name is Regina George. <laughs> the way this is like an ode to the Mean Girls. Mean Girls featuring Julian Casablancas. I think I might have liked that one better, honestly. Like, I liked how they slowed down the tempo. The tempo. I liked the dude's voice. It was super nice. And I kind of just like... I really just... I don't really like that song on the original, but I kind of like the remix better. I don't know. I'm just kind of eating. Maybe I'm just in a mood for it. I'm not sure, but I liked it. I'm gonna love the production pauses too, but the vocal was still there, like in the chorus, the second time around. Next up, we're getting into I Think About It All The Time featuring Bon Iver. This is probably the one I'm the most interested in because I don't know Bon Iver music, and all I know is that song Exile that he featured with on Taylor Swift, and I'm like, how the f is this gonna fit in? Dude, I don't know. It's always been hard. <laughs> yeah, you ran out of time pretty quick. That's true. Girl, I'm so happy she blew up. I'm so happy for her. Did you? All right, we're getting into 365 featuring Shy Girl. I wouldn't say like I'm really like a shy, like I'm not really like, really shy girl. I would say I'm pretty extroverted, but I would say I'm like pretty awkward. Like I would say I'm like an awkward girl, but I'm extroverted. So it's kind of weird. All right, 365. <sighs> That's how many days they have in a year. I need the whole shit. I need the whole outfit for this song. I have a feeling. Okay, DJ, calm down. Calm down. Is she saying is she saying white girl or am I like tripping out? I need to I need to look at the lyrics, bitch. Oh, she's saying party girl, party girl, party girl, party girl. Doesn't it sound like white girl? I just felt like I was like fanning a fart. <laughs> like, we're gonna get into guests featuring Billie Eilish. I f***ing love this remix, bitch. Like this one is one of my favorites. We just love Billie. We just love Billie on the channel. Thank y'all so much for also getting me on Billie Eilish because I didn't even listen to Billie till y'all told me to react to her. So like, I'm so Billie obsessed now. She's gonna guess the color of my underwear. Billie, good luck. Good luck, Billie. Oh, Billy's not, but Taylor is, bitch. That's my name if you didn't know. I don't feel like I say the lot. Yeah. 
Bitch, my thighs are quaking and I am sweating. I can't compute, I can't compute. Yes, I'm an AI robot. Yes, I'm not real. I'm fake. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, I'm actually just kidding because like AI is getting crazy these days. I am a real person, I swear. Last song for this Brat Remix video and it is Spring Breakers featuring Kesha and I've never even heard the original. So this is about to go hard. This is the only song I had never heard at all. So I'm, I'm very excited. We love TikToking and brushing our teeth with Jack Daniels. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. I literally don't even like whiskey. I'm a wine. I'm a wine mom, okay? Oh, crazy girl shit gonna go spring breakers? What did she say? Hold on, what the fuck did she just say? Bitch, what did you just say? Shut up! <laughs> she said, rating go up when the clothes come off, but a real bitch come when the dick goes up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. My lesbian brain is in computing. Party girl gods. Oh, this one is so good. <laughs> Produce this beat, AJ Cook. Calm down. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating. The sweat tour has me up. Clearly, I've been skipping cardio class because I can't fuck. I'm literally sweating my titties off, and I barely have any as it is. Charlie XCX. That was so much fun, honestly. Like just dancing to the remixes and having a good time, and it was different, but it was the same and. I love this whole brat aesthetic, dude. Like, I feel like Charlie XCX is just really <laughs> eating 2024 up on a silver platter. I just want to see her continue eating. I love this so much. This is such a cool and fun, unique idea. Like, I know, like, usually, like, artists, like, they have, you know, the deluxe version of the album that comes out, and then they do remixes with, like, DJs, but I love how she released a whole deluxe, like, remix version of her album like that's just so f and they all are, i love how they're also like so different like they're not the same really any of them maybe like two of them were kind of similar but they're all just so f different dude and i f <sighs> gays are really are we gonna survive 2024 like i really don't know bitch i loved this i hope y'all enjoyed like doing the sweat tour in my bedroom with me if you got tickets let me know down below um you're still a slut but i love you but i had so much fun honestly this was such a fun different kind of video i feel like since i already kind of had heard the songs it wasn't really like as much of a lyrical analysis but focusing a little bit more on the production but also just having fun and dancing and i really like this doing this kind of video um this is honestly like if i was at the concert this is kind of just like what i would be doing probably more amplified if i was at the concert but since I'm in front of a camera and this is getting posted on the internet, I have to be a little more tame. If she if she does some brat winter shit, I wouldn't even be surprised. She's just so funny with it and I just love that about her. She's got me rolling my ass off. I love this whole sweat tour. It's just, it's so fun and her and Chor are just like the perfect combo. You know, I'm not on Grinder, but like I'm still here and I'm still sat for this album and... <laughs> Okay, boys, I love y'all. I gotta go. This was so much fun, y'all. If you made it to the end, as always, you're beautiful and sexy. Thank you so much for joining me. 
um, at the sweat tour in my bedroom. And thank you so much for listening to these remixes with me. I hope y'all were dancing and shaking y'all ass a little bit. It was so fun. I had a good time. And that's going to be it for today, babes. But I'm going to see y'all soon on the channel with some more reactions. But until then, I hope that y'all have a lovely day or a beautiful night. And I'll catch y'all soon with those new videos. Later, babes.